The first graphic organizer tool we're going to take a look at is LucidChart for Education. And we get to that by clicking this app here, and it will take us to the LucidChart website. Now, one of the nice things about LucidChart is when it's installed as an app through your Google account, it will try to log in through your Google account. So it's asking me which account I want to use. I'm going to use my school account. And it logs me into LucidChart. Now, when in LucidChart, the first screen you see is your My Documents screen. It's a lot like your My Documents screen on other computers, where you're going to see everything you've made. Now, over on the left-hand side, there are folder icons. You can create folders to organize your charts in any way you want. The other nice thing about this is you're going to see these files will show up as part of your Google Drive account as well. The l icon for it is kind of a gold box with the LucidChart logo on them. Now, if you'd like to open a LucidChart document, basically what you do is you can click Create and go to New Document, or you can click on any one of the documents that you might have already created. And when you do that, on the right hand side, you get a menu showing you different options. You'd click Edit Document. Now I'm just going to open up a document that I've created already, and I'm going to click Edit. And we're going to take a look at the basic layout of LucidChart. When you're looking at LucidChart, we have our basic file menu across the top here. You'll also see the title of your organizer is at the top left. If you click on it, you can rename it just like you would if you were in Google Docs. I'm going to click Cancel. Now you also have this formatting menu right here that's very typical. Um, it looks a lot like what you've been using in Word for years. You have your basic text functions. You have some functions to format the lines you're going to use along with the colors and adding shadows to objects. You have the ability to lock things in place and even to add links to your site. So this can actually be created into links that will take you to places on the internet. You'll also notice on the layout there's this new page tab. Now how LucidChart works is you can actually have multiple tabs on a particular document. Now if I click on New Page, I can rename this and name this Page 1 and click OK. And if I go to Page and go to New Page, I can add a brand new page or I can duplicate this page and create a second page. Now this might be something I would use if I wanted to use the same organizer in two different classes, I can have two copies of the same organizer all in one place, easy to find. I could keep copies of work that's done in class with my students while also maintaining a blank master copy. But that's one of the nice things about this organizer. Now over on the left hand side, you're going to see there's a search window that you can use to search Google for clip art, and I'll show you that a little bit later. You'll also see some tool palettes over here that contain a bunch of different objects that you can add. And you can scroll down and add more. There's a, a more shapes button that we're going to show you later that add, allows you to add more content to this menu. Over on the right hand side, you're going to see another menu. This is kind of a formatting menu for your objects in your project. So once you click on something and select it, you can then come over here and do some various things to it. Um, this is the basic layout of LucidChart. Um, we're going to show you some of the more advanced skills as we start using LucidChart in the next video segment.